cemetery should be across the street. Hello. I'm starving. Help me for pity's sake. I would if I could. But Holmes doesn't like to pay for anything. Let's see. Closed. Even here. Decidedly, the poor people have been abandoned to their fate. Let's check around back. Ah, here's the cemetery. This cemetery is the very image of Whitechapel. Sinister, frightening, and ill kept terrible place for one's final rest. At least hunger no longer gnaws at them. Oh yes, always looking for the silver lining, aren't we, Holmes? Let's see. Roam around here, see if there's anything of interest. Anything? 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 Some stuff. Wait, I want to read that paper first. Distribution for 19th September. Through the generosity of Prince Woodville, a new distribution of soup is being arranged within the Whitechapel area. This voucher is valid for a meal on 19th September in any distribution area. Kurtz. Don't forget to pick up the tools at the cemetery and don't be late this time. Grape ape. Grape ape. <laughs> All right. A leaflet for the soup kitchen. This leaflet is dated for the day after tomorrow. The tickets for the soup kitchen are given out on the same day. Only somebody who works there could have written on it. Okay, a shovel. This shovel belongs to the cemetery workers. Thanks for the information. Closed. Closed. Everything's closed. Let's look for a mobile soup kitchen, Holmes. Okay, but let's finish looking around the cemetery first, Holmes. Let us see if the elements analyzed in Baker Street and this cemetery have something in common. Okay, so we know that this... This rope is only worn on one side. Yes. And this one? This rope is only worn on one side. The rope used to tie up the Bishop of Knightsbridge came from this cemetery. Mm -hmm. It is only worn on the one side because it is used to lower coffins into graves. Mm. How morbid. Okay. Let's go further into the cemetery. Watson, let's go. Let's check this little house over here. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let us see if the elements analyzed in Baker Street and this cemetery have something in common. Yes. Black and damp earth. Mm. Earth freshly turned over, still damp. This dark, damp earth is the same type as that which was found at the Bishop of Knightsbridge's home. Yeah. It came from a grave then. <laughs> what a lovely thought. Yes. Quite lovely. Now, what's in this shed? Now, let's check the door first. This must be the gravedigger's cabin. Well, judging by the state of this place, they don't work very often. Hmm. <laughs> Impossible to open it. Um, right, watch out, Watson. Let's investigate the gravestones. I can't keep the thing on there. There we go. All right. Let us see if the elements analyzed in Baker Street and this cemetery have something in common. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Black paint. 
the same black paint covers these stones. Granite. These stones are of the same granite. Mm -hmm. This black painted stone is identical to the fragments found in the rope which we analyzed at Baker Street and in the footprints of the Bishop of Brightsbridge's murderers. Everything coincides with this. The fragments of granite at the Bishop's home came from the tombstones of this cemetery, as well as the rope that was used to restrain the poor man, one of those used to lower the coffins. I can think of only two reasons why anyone should happen to spend a great deal of time in a cemetery. Either he is addressed here, or he works here. At least one of the Bishop's murderers is employed here. Mm -hmm. A shame. If he was at rest here, it would have made our job easier. Haha. Uh -huh. But if he was at rest, he couldn't kill the bishop. Okay, so... Yes. Um, I believe I saw a man distributing soup right outside the cemetery. Wait. Wrong way. Oh, you walked over the dead person. 